Howdy doody everybody. Welcome to my home. You're with me, Zarif Afandi. Uh, this is Good Stuff to Know. Uh, it's basically a little place where I thought I'd share with you some good stuff to know for you that could be useful both for you and hopefully the people around you. Um, so one of the first things I thought that I'd share with you today is actually something quite important and quite dear to me, which is um, morning protocols. The reason why I have morning protocols, or most people have morning protocols, is because they want a great day, and before they can have a great day, they need to prepare themselves to have a great day. And so similarly for me, I, um, I try to have these good morning protocols to make sure that before I meet the world, before I do my task, I'm all uh, calm, relaxed, but also uh, nourished and fed, basically. So what does that mean? Um, I think because most of us, it's quite common, I think, if you think about it, um, where uh, a lot of us, I guess this is how usually we wake up, we, there's an alarm bell, ring, right? And we wake up and then we're like, oh, we're rushing out and then quickly doing breakfast and then shooting off to, to work, basically, and then hitting the jam. And then after that, rushing to work and, you know, just, just always a rush, I suppose. And um, and the thing about that kind of day, I guess, the thing about that kind of day is that um, it's very stressful. It uh, You're always chasing something. And when you're stressed out, you actually activate a lot of cortisol, I guess, and you know, a lot of the fight and flight um, hormones and uh, 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 chemicals that are meant to starve you away from danger. Uh, and this can be extremely exhausting and, you know, it does harm the immune system. So having morning protocols actually is a great way for you to um, maneuver the world because sometimes things will either go your way or not. And so when it doesn't go your way, I guess it depends how resilient or fragile you are is really dependent on how you prepare yourself. And so morning protocols, to me, help me a lot in um, preparing my day and maneuvering through both the good things and also the challenging things in life. So, for instance, what do I do then, right? I mean, what does it mean to have morning protocols? Um, I guess one of the most important things, I suppose, or one of the most uh vital things when it comes to morning protocols is actually giving yourself time, meaning not being waken up by the alarm clock and rushing your way out. So, you know, it could be 5 a.m. Robin Sharma has his 5 a.m. club. It could be 5.30. In Muslim traditions, we have subo prayers uh, at 5.30, 5.45 in the morning. And, um, and it's nice. Waking up in the morning is really the absolute best thing. It's one of my favorite times of the day, actually, because when I wake up early in the morning, um, it's like nobody's around. Not to say nobody's around, but no, everyone's still sleeping. Most people are still sleeping. The air is really nice and clear and cool, and uh, you really don't have much distractions. And then as you wake up, you wash your face. Like for me, what I do is I wash my face. I take my ablution, which is uh, like a little washer of the face and the hands, which I don't have, and the feet, right? Um, and then I feed my soul, basically. So, like this. Boom. Yeah, so every morning, it's one thing about these kind of exercises or practices, or any practice actually, for you to have long-lasting positive change, you need to do it every day. It needs to be both a habit as well as something automatic to eventually have the benefit to you. It's the same thing like a muscle as well, right? We can't be exercising, you know, once a month and then expect to be strong. Similarly with the soul, I find that if you feed the soul well every day and if you have a, um, a good, solid routine like... For me, I do my subo prayers and then I have a 
little zikir kind of session and then I meditate a little bit as well after and so I guess the you really feel that that inner strength uh rejuvenated I suppose and um and likewise if you look into the science of positive psychology you can see that um mindfulness practices like these like prayers are basically in the Islamic tradition prayers or most religion religion prayers are basically in the mindfulness uh kind of um perspective where it's all about clearing the mind and not focusing on other things or your problems your issues what is to be what was and just either focus on nothing or focus on uh one thing um but basically being mindful of your focus and by doing this every day it's also like practice as well so it strengthens your mind it strength strengthens the part of the brain that has attention and so as you can have that then you are less susceptible to um all the dumbass things that happen around you right because a lot of things uh can really either go your way or not but if you keep yourself calm and chilled and um and meditate right you will uh for sure uh it doesn't matter if 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 it's a stressful situation because you will be equipped to handle uh these situations basically right um then after a bit of feeding the soul i also try to exercise as well that's something that's really important to me um so i am always quite active actually i'm a fairly active kind of dude um i like running i like swimming and but you know in the morning try to do anything really try to move a little bit try to move uh, a lot whichever it is that you can at that moment at least you're moving and you're feeding your physical self as well with food and then um i also find things like gardening to be uh very useful as well a nice morning practice as well that i love um and um yeah and anyway so the whole point of this all of this whole ramble i suppose is that um if you want the right things to happen to you throughout the day you can't control a lot of things there's a lot of things that you can't control you can't control the weather you can't control how other people decide or choose or behave but you can try and control how you take all these things around you and for that to be as optimal as you can then you're going to need to find the right practices and the right kind of um protocols right to strengthen the self so understand that you need to strengthen your soul every morning strengthen your body strengthen your mind oh yeah that's another thing strengthen your mind i also take a nice read in the morning it doesn't have to be a nice it doesn't have to be a long read it could be a page it could be half a page it could be a podcast and um but essentially you give yourself time you invest your invest a, maybe an hour maybe 45 minutes and hopefully when you do start your day and maneuver to it you will be able to maneuver it the best that you can so that's essentially how uh, i found to be the absolute best way to uh have a good day right is to have a good morning um don't forget to also um organize your bed as well because organizing your bed has absolute correlation with the organization in your mind and so the messier your room is the messier and less uh clear your mind is so also keep your also start your morning with um making your bed so yeah i guess that's about it for me i hope you guys found those tips useful uh there are of course many other uh nuggets that i hope to share with you i hope you guys uh take care there at home you're probably still locked down just as i am as well and um be safe all right cheers and let me know if there's any other topic that you might want maybe i can try and uh, see if i can answer 
uh, and share anything useful about him. Cheers. Peace.